All right, so this video is to show you how to assemble your parts and make a 3D model in Autodesk Inventor. This is the final uh, design. Some features are kind of cool, like this wheel right here. It can spin around. You can actually make things spin. Anyway, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, well, actually, we won't get that far, but we're going to show you how to connect your wood parts. So first step would be to click File and then hover over New and then go to Assembly. Okay, and assembly is where you connect all your parts. Nothing is in here, so in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see place. You click on it, and then you have to find your files. Now, hopefully, you've organized it. I have a folder called Prius that's got all my parts. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting in the, the base. Okay, so I click, click on that part. I click open, and here it is. Now, I'm going to go to click the house, so I see the 3D view. I'm going to zoom out with my scroll wheel. I'm going to right click again, right click, and you will see place grounded at origin, right? When I click on that, that piece is locked in. It's asking me, do you want to place another one? I hit escape on my keyboard, and then that's all I've got. Now, if I hit escape, I've got no tools on. I cannot move this piece. If you, if you see, there's a tiny little push pin that icon that means it cannot move. Now I'm ready to place another part. So I'm going to press place again. And then I'm going to select the side of the car. So that would be, I think, this piece right here. I hit open. Now I can place one, or I can place two, or I can come back and place the other one later. For now, I'll just place one. If you wanted to, you could place another. But I'm just going to do one. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm ready, to, I'm ready to try to connect these parts. Before you try to connect them using constraints, I recommend using the navigation cube to help you get the parts close. So I'm going to use the front view and drag the side piece up to its approximate location. Then I'm going to use the top view and drag so it's in its approximate location. And then finally, I'm going to use the right view and see, oops, I might need to rotate that. And it's in pretty much in its correct location. Now I go back to the 3D view by clicking on the corner of the navigation cube and I zoom in, and I'm going to start with a flush command. So I'm going to hit constrain, and I'm going to flush the, now this is flush, and this is mate, so I'm going to select flush, oh, I'm sorry, this is flush. I'm going to select flush, and I'm going to select the outside surface of the red, and the outside surface of the yellow, and then I'm going to hit apply, okay? And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hit escape for a second. Now, it looks like the, I didn't do anything, right? It looks like these parts can move, but if you look from the side, the right view, what you'll see is that the parts are flushed, right? So if I zoom in here, the front edges, the front surfaces are flushed. So now I'm gonna go back to 3D view and I'm gonna try to position it so it's close. And I'm gonna zoom in on this little area right here and make a connection between this surface and the opposing yellow surface. So I hit constrain and then I hit mate. And then I do the inside of the red. And then I'm going to rotate by clicking the top left corner. And then zoom back in and get the inside of the yellow. And then I hit apply. Now this takes some practice. You really got to use the scroll wheel and focus on the area you want to zoom in on. Now it looks like it's totally done, but I can still move the red piece up and down. So I need to connect it. So I'm going to constrain one more time. I'm going to use the mate function. And I say the top of the yellow, click needs to connect to the bottom of the red. To get to the bottom of the red, I click on the bottom of the navigation cube, it flips it, I zoom in, I click on the bottom of the red, and hit apply, and then I'm done. So now if I hit escape, and I go to the home, the little house, uh, I cannot drag the red piece, it is fully constrained. Okay, so that is essentially the process for connecting two parts, and you just wanna repeat that process over and over and over, place, find the file. If you don't see the icons like mine, you know, you might have to um, just choose the name of the file. If you wanted to see the parts, you can right click and click on view and you can either select a list, which is looks like this, or if, again, if you right click view, uh, medium icons or large icons, you know, whatever you want to look at, it'll help you see your parts. Hopefully you're naming your parts in such a way that you, um, you know what to do. So anyway, then, you know, you just move on to your next part. So maybe I'd, I've got my, my little uh, axle holder, and then I open that, and I can do, I can do four at a time. 
And again, use your navigation cube to help you locate the parts, right, more quickly and get them into a proximal location. Make sure you use the front view, the top view, and the right view, right? It's a lot easier to get those parts in position when you are um, using the three different views to locate the parts. So you can drag them too low, too low, too low, right? And then go back to the top view and make sure they're approximately in position before you start connecting them.